Hey, it's Paul Ingram with Collie Center. Today, grab your single Escrima stick or Arnis stick, Collie stick, Rattan stick, whatever you've got to train with today. We're going over a very, very important essential drill, and this is four parts to this drill. This is great if you're brand new to Collie, or maybe you're an advanced practitioner and you want to really hone in and rework your fundamentals. But make sure you stick with me to the end of this video because I'm also gonna go through the three different striking techniques on this drill. So this is perfect place if you're just starting off or you want to really brush up on your essential fundamentals. Hit the thumbs up button, make sure you subscribe to the Collie Center channel, and let's get to it. You can do this drill striking all in the air or you can work some impact training. I'm using Bob here today. It doesn't matter what you have. It could be a heavy bag, it could be a stack of tires, it could be a pole, it could be anything. And the important thing is that we're working these movements. Now, the drill is broken down into four parts, and what we're working on is the ECUS, sometimes pronounced as ECUS, which is the X series. So we're working the diagonal strikes, the four diagonal strikes, an angle one, an angle two, an angle three, and an angle four. That's the numbering system we use here at Collie Center. So let's go ahead and break this drill down. The first of four sections is down the X. So we're striking our angle one, and we're striking our angle two. And you wanna make sure that you're pulling the strikes through the target here, and you're not trying to like push them through the target. You wanna pull through the arc. And we like to do a six count on each one of these. So angle one and two for six beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, right there. Then we're gonna go up the X, our angle three and four for six beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have the first diagonal line, which is called the sun line, which is our angle one, and then back up on our angle four for six beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have what's called the moon line, which is from the angle three down the angle two for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we just repeat that cycle on the X. One, two, three, four, five, six, up the X. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sun line, one, two, three, four, five, six. Moon line, one, two, three, four, five, six, right there. Let's work this a couple times from a few different angles. When you're training this drill, if you don't have a striking implement yet, like a heavy bag or bob or a tire, stack of tires, that's okay. Just train it in the air and start nice and slow, slow and smooth in the beginning. Then as you are becoming more familiar and more coordinated with the movements, then work on speeding it up, adding in power, intensity, all that. But you wanna make sure you're able to do these movements slow and smooth. Remember, if you cannot do the movements, any movements slow, you can't do them fast because you're not gonna be precise and accurate. Let's take a look at our three different striking techniques. Now, I did the first variation, which is striking from the shoulder. And this is where we're loading from a full chamber position where the spine of the weapon is touching the spine of the back and we're putting our whole body into that strike. And the joint, the rotation joint on the weapon for the arc is off of the shoulder. Yes, this is a larger you know, uh, circular strike which produces the most amount of power. Okay? And sometimes that's what's needed. But other times you need more speed. Maybe you need to shorten that arc a little bit. 
And the second striking technique that we can operate all, this, all these uh, drills on is striking off of the elbow, which means that the chamber is going to be pulled in tighter and we're striking from the elbow position here now. Now it's really important, you're going to notice something here, and this is a detail I usually only share inside of my online school at collicenter.com. But when I'm striking, even with the shoulder, you're going to see how the weapon is going through the bridge of my nose, bridge of my eyes to protect my head, my neck. When we're striking off the elbow, same thing. So a lot of times, you'll see people strike low like this. That's okay at long range when you have control of the circle and the control of the engagement. But you want to make sure you're striking with protection to the vital areas, your head and your neck. So you want to make sure that the middle of the weapon is able to pass through your bridge of your nose, bridge of your eyes. So let's look at the drill. Let's do one set striking off of the elbow. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, sun line. One, two, three, four, five, six, and moon line. One, two, three, four, five, six, right here. The third striking technique, you might have already guessed it, is off of the wrist. So here, now we're striking off of the wrist. This is going to be the fastest striking because it's the smallest circle, the smallest gear, has the most acceleration, but does not deliver the most amount of power. It's the least amount of power. Okay, but we can do the entire drill off of the wrist cuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sunlight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and moonlight, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, of course, the rest of the arm is going to engage. So, you know, you're not just like sitting there like this, locking your arm out. It has to move. You want it to move. You want the hand to be moving in this figure eight. Okay? It's very important that that hand is moving because you don't want it to be, you know, just in one spot where it's a sitting target. Now, which of these strikes, which of these techniques off the shoulder, off the elbow, off the wrist is best? It's going to be completely dependent on what's needed at that particular moment of time. Now, at Collie Center, we do have some basic rules of engaging each one of these techniques. I teach that inside of the online school, so you can go on over there if you want that. But this is a good place to make sure you're working all of your diagonal strikes and experiment with the three different striking techniques. Let's do one rep, one set of each one, so that way you can see the difference, shoulder, elbow, and wrist cutting technique. Yep, let's go through it. Uh, elbow. and wrist. Give this one a try. If you need a pair of uh, Kali sticks for your training, head over to KaliCenter.com. If you want to deepen your learning and your skill development in Kali, make sure to check out my online school and join me inside over there, over at KaliCenter.com. I got the link down in the description below. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments so that way I can uh, get you some answers. And give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your Kali friends. Now get out there, go practice, and I'll see you back here next time.